So let me uh, uh, spend the next 10 minutes uh, talking about the HoneyNet project, give you a little bit of back background. Now, I'm going to stay. Uh, I'm going to say pretty much at a, a very high level, uh, and leave most of the talk talk to uh, David Watson, our chief uh, research officer, who can give you an overview of all the, the research efforts that are going on within the uh, within the project. So let me uh, first tell you uh, who the HoneyNet project is. So the HoneyNet project is a nonprofit. Uh, computer uh, security research organization. <laughs> now we've been founded uh, back in uh, 2000 by Lance Spitzner, who is sitting right over there, uh, with a bunch of security folks. Um, now, since then, now 2011, the, the HoneyNet project has really transformed itself into a international organization. Uh, so we have volunteers worldwide. Uh, that gives us a, a nice, um, diverse skill set a diverse uh, experience within our members. Now we are partially funded. Uh, when we were an organization that was primarily situated in the States, uh, it was primarily U.S. Uh, government that has funded us. But now as we have been growing into an international organization, uh, that sort of funding has stopped, and now we have uh, basically smaller funders. Uh, an example of that is uh, Google has been funding us last year. Um, as we were participating in the Google Summer of Code, uh, and Dave Watson will, uh, will talk a little bit more about that uh, effort uh, in his uh, part of the organization. Um, now, we are a volunteer organization that, that want to make a difference. Uh, we're not really selling any products or services. All the tools that we develop, uh, all the papers that we write, are freely available on our website, uh, so you can download and use them and, and do research yourself. Um, our mission is to learn the tools, tactics, and motives involved in computer and network attacks uh, and share the lessons learned with you, the public. Um, the goal here is, is really to improve the security of the internet, and I'll go into how we are accomplishing that uh, in a second. Um, now, the HoneyNet project is really a platform that brings like-minded people uh, together, uh, security uh, professionals that want to make a difference and want to make the internet a more secure place. So let me uh, spend a few minutes that kind of explains the structure uh, of the HoneyNet project, who the leadership is within the project, and that also illustrates how you could get involved within the HoneyNet project. As I said, we're a member organization. Most of our members are volunteers. Uh, so they have day jobs in academia, in the industry, in government. Um, they're the basis of our organization. Now these uh, full members are organized in chapters, and the chapters are usually um, associated with a, spe a specific locale. So we have um, a chapter, for instance, here in France, uh, the French HoneyNet Project chapter, and all the French HoneyNet Project members are organized within that chapter. There's a chapter lead that kind of um, organizes the efforts, the research efforts of that particular chapter. And this is also how you would get involved. Usually you seek out a chapter in your country, say you're a security researcher, you're interested in, in making a difference, you contact the chapter lead, and then that chapter lead can kind of put you into the fold of the existing chapter, show you the ropes, build the trust relationship to then uh, eventually become a full member of the organization. Now the difference between contributor and full member on day-to-day -day affairs is really small. Um, the big difference is when it comes to leading the organization. Uh, the full members uh, elect the board of directors, uh, which are seven members that um, look at building the strategic vision of the project. And let me uh, briefly introduce who these uh, seven members are. Uh, so there's Julia Chen, who you already met. She's on the board of directors. Uh, Full-time job, she's at the Taiwan Information Security Center at National Chen Kung University. Uh, there's Torsten Holt, who works at the Rural University in Bochum. Uh, he's not here today. Uh, Jose Nazario from Arbor Networks. Lance Spitzner, who works at the SANS Institute. Myself, I actually work at Microsoft Bing. Um, David Watson from Isotoma, as well as Tillman Werner from Kaspersky Labs. Now, the board of directors is uh, dealing with 
strategic vision, but from a day-to-day -day business, we actually have a set of officers that are being appointed. And these are a different set of people, and actually most of them are here today. Uh, we have Anton Chubakin from Security Warrior Consulting. He's our Chief Public Relations Officer. Now, he's the only one who's not here today. Uh, we have uh, Dave Dittrich, our Chief uh, Legal and Ethics Officer, who you met at the registration. We have Max Kilger, our membership officer. He's working at Experience Simmons, myself the CEO. Then we have Fayez Shuya, who is he? He's outside of the registration desk as well. He's our chief infrastructure officer. Uh, Sebastian Tricot, our French member. He's the uh, chief technology officer. And then David Watson, chief research officer. <coughs> now the officers, they have their respective areas and they uh, work in these re respective areas with so formed committees. So we have a membership committee that kind of uh, defines the policies and procedures on how one would become a member uh, that is headed by the membership officer and involves uh, other members of the HoneyNet project. So the HoneyNet project members are able to govern through these committees. So that's kind of the structure of the HoneyNet project uh, and, and how you could get involved. We have 40 international chapters, uh, and that's kind of uh, that's a map uh, that kind of shows where where chapters are located. Uh, we have 53 full members um, and 150 contributors. Um, maybe maybe I could ask all the HoneyNet project folks to stand up so we kind of uh, all the other folks can see who who we are. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Great, thank you. So as I said, we want to um, improve the security of the internet, make it a, a better place, and we do it with three needs. Awareness, information, and research. Um, first, we raise awareness to the threats that do exist, and we do that through uh, various channels. Uh, we have our HoneyNet Project blog, uh, where we post uh, various research snippets, uh, news items. We have now a Twitter feed and social media groups through Facebook and LinkedIn uh, that you're welcome to join to kind of stay up to date on what we're uh, doing. Then we have a um, Know Your Enemy paper, a white paper series uh, where we put uh, the spotlight on specific research efforts. So for instance, a couple of years ago, uh, we came out with a paper that described fast flux networks. Uh, and I think that was one of the first papers that, that touched on that topic. And there's a whole series of white papers out there. Uh, take a look at the web page uh, to see uh, what is there. And then we also participate in the uh, Google Summer of Code, where we define projects, uh, match HoneyNet project mentors with students out there throughout the world to work on security-relevant projects. Uh, that effort raises awareness with, with students around the world. Uh, for those who are already aware, we teach and inform about the latest threats. Uh, our members are at various speaking engagements, uh, at conferences, workshops, and invite-only events. Uh, and then also we have now the, uh, the Public HoneyNet Project Security Workshop, and I hope we can continue to do that uh, going forward. Uh, and then some of you uh, may have already participated in some of these efforts, the Forensic Challenge, uh, which we kicked off again uh, last year, and the giraffe chapter is uh, very heavily involved in capturing the bag events. Uh, and that's something that we actually want to uh, show you today. Um, at 10 o'clock, uh, we'll uh, introduce you to a forensic challenge and the capture of a flag event that you can actually try out yourself. And then we do, of course, uh, research and give organizations uh, the capabilities to learn more on their own. Uh, so we develop, deploy Honeypot and security technology. Um, if you think about HoneyNet, uh, Honeypot technology, uh, the big tools, Honeywall, Phonisi, LibEMU, Dionea, these are all tools that are uh, or have been developed by our members or former members. Um, and those are available freely to download on our website. They're all open source. And then, of course, we study uh, the data that is captured by these uh, tools and deployments throughout the world uh, with our international base 
We have quite an advantage in that we're able to deploy a sensor, for instance, in Iran, a sensor in China. That gives us a very unique uh, view of what's going on in the world. So that is all from me. Um, I hand it off to uh, David Watson, our research officer, to give you more information on the research that we do.